Hello, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to this video tutorial on creating velocity layers with samples in Ableton Live 8. We'll be using Ableton's sampler instrument, which is a multi-sampler, meaning that you can drop multiple samples into it rather than just one at a time. As you can see, I have 35 different samples all dropped into the zone editor in the sampler, and there are 35 uh, various snare drum samples. Now, if you don't know what velocity layers are, it's where you... Uh, drop multiple samples into a sampler and make some of the samples triggered by softer uh, key strikes and others triggered by harder key strikes. And this is a way we can mimic real life acoustic instruments. In this case, with my 35 snare drum samples, some of them were recorded at softer dynamics where the drummer hit the snare softer, others were harder. So these lower ones are our lower dynamics and the higher ones are our louder sounds. So what we want to essentially do here is when I hit the key softly, I want to hear the softer samples. When I hit the key harder, I want to hear the louder samples. And again, this is a great way to mimic the dynamic range of real life acoustic instruments, especially drums where you have so many different tones you can get out of it depending on how hard you hit it and where you hit it. The first thing we need to do is to trim all of these samples to only be triggered by a single key. So what we're going to do is select the top note, hold shift, and select the bottom sample, and then trim the range of all of the samples simultaneously to fall on a single key. I'm going to put these on uh, E1, which is the general MIDI uh, note number for snare drum. And then the other thing we have to change is the root key, otherwise they'll sound out of tune. So the way we can do that is hold option and click. Uh, where we want the root to go and they'll change. But we can also hold option and just drag over to put them in place. The next thing we need to do is make all of these samples uh, a one shot, meaning that uh, even if you quickly tap the key, you'll get the full length of the sample. Right now, as it is, uh, if I don't hold the key down, we'll only hear just a little, a little blip of the sample. It sounds like this. You can audibly hear the tail end of the note get cut off. And the way we can do this is go down to the Filter and Global tab, and there's a ADSR down here where we can pull the release all the way out. And now it's going to sound like this. And so what happened there is the by pulling the release out on our ADSR, uh, we hear the full length of the sample regardless of how uh, quickly I press the key down. All right, the next thing we need to do is go to our Velocity Editor up here. And what this does is it views all of the samples uh, as uh, velocity numbers between 1 and 127 rather than seeing the note numbers up here. Now, uh, with a velocity of 1, we have a very soft sound. A velocity of 127, we have a very loud sound and anything in between. What we need to do is we need to set uh, velocity ranges, and that's what these uh, red bars uh, designate, the velocity range that th that particular sample is triggered by. So we could go through the rigor of trimming each one of these velocity ranges individually, but there's a cool little feature if you right click in this area where it says distribute ranges equally. And what this does is it equally distributes the velocity range of each sample, all 35 of them in fact, uh, across our 1 to 127 range. So now when I hit the key softly, I'm going to get my uh, softer samples. And uh, when I hit my uh, key harder, I'm going to get some of my louder samples, some of the upper numbers. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit auto select over here in the corner. And what that will do is it'll show the sample I'm uh, selecting as I strike the key. So those are some of the softer samples. And those are some of the harder ones. And the harder samples, the louder ones, they've got more of a thwack to them because the drummer hit the drum harder. Maybe a little bit of the rim is getting in there as well. And again, this just mimics the, uh, the wide dynamic range of real life acoustic instruments and just gives us a little more variety in our MIDI recordings. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.